Unhealthy eating habits are often linked to the majority of cardiovascular diseases. The food we consume directly impacts the condition of our blood vessels. The issue becomes increasingly severe after the age of 50 as atherosclerotic plaques tend to accumulate with age. This buildup can decrease blood flow and increase the likelihood of experiencing a heart attack or stroke. Therefore, it is important to be mindful of our diet as studies suggest that doing so can lead to a longer and healthier life. This video showcases foods that can clog our blood vessels, cause significant harm, and should be avoided. Be sure to watch until the end for interesting and helpful information. Let's get started. By the way, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you will not miss any of our videos. So if you ask me what is the most harmful product for blood vessels, I will tell you that it's trans fats. Trans fats are not any individual product, but are an additive that is very much in a lot of the food lying on supermarket shelves. I've said many times before that trans fats are an obvious evil that many people are trying to combat, but maybe someday in the future, we'll get rid of trans fats. But unfortunately, at the moment, they are still actively used. And the little we have achieved is that now the manufacturer is afraid to write openly that the composition of the product contains trans fats. So they disguise and write, for example, contains vegetable oils, a very streamlined wording, behind which, as a rule, there are trans fats. Or it might also say hydrogenated oil. What is it? Trans fats are once vegetable oils whose molecular structure has been changed by industrial processing. That is, you took vegetable oil, such as palm oil or rapeseed oil, but its structure is liquid, and we want to turn it into cookies, but cookies are solid. So what do we do? We use a hydrogenation process. We make trans fat. The result is that it goes from soft to hard enough, so it can be added to a pastry or a burger and so on. And so these solid trans fats are very cheap to make and give the feeling of fatty, tasty food. That's why it's so loved to be added. It's cheap and tasty. But many major studies have shown that trans fats are the champions in terms of their harmful effects on our blood vessels. They are the biggest contributor to atherosclerosis, which is the formation of cholesterol plaques. They clog our blood vessels and that leads to cardiovascular diseases. Where can we find trans fats? First of all, as I said before, trans fats are often found in confectionery cakes, cupcakes, cookies, low-quality milk chocolate, pastries, and so on. Another source is margarine. Margarine, of course, should never be eaten in principle. Butter is better. By the way, often in the product description, they write, contains margarine. That's what you should not buy either. Margarine is concentrated trans fat mass. As I said before, the various burgers, fries, chips, and fast food for the most part also contain a lot of trans fats. The next food that is detrimental to our blood vessels is sugar. And sugar is also one of the leading foods in terms of its destructive effect on our vascular health. What is the problem? Well, the problem is that sugar, especially refined sugar, is very easy to digest and it promotes a rise in blood sugar and increases the rate of permanent microinflammation. Permanent microinflammations are a natural mechanism that provides for our aging and the formation of chronic disease. Sugar ages us. So those who eat a lot of sugar begin to look older than their years as they age. And it's not just on the outside on the skin, but on the inside as well and the internal organs are affected by sugar and the blood vessels, of course, too. Excessive sugar consumption greatly increases vascular disease. It also contributes to the development of atherosclerosis and thrombosis, and as a consequence, the likelihood of heart attacks and strokes. And if we eat trans fats at the same time as sugar, 
It's a potent mix. For example, some sugary cake is a mixture of trans fats and sugar. It's very bad. Is there a more or less safe dose of sugar? Because it's almost impossible to eliminate it. Sugar is everywhere. When we buy bread in the store, even that bread has sugar in it. In general, a relatively more or less safe dose of sugar is up to 30 grams per day. It's one ounce. Of course, the less, the better, but you should not consume more than that amount. And I don't mean only pure sugar, which we add to our tea or coffee. I mean all the sugar during the day we consume, including the hidden ones. Hidden sugar is found in confectionery products, various sauces, and even canned beans also have sugar. And the peculiar champion of literally such an injection of sugar into the bloodstream is soda. And people especially consume a lot of sugar when they drink soda. The next item is processed meats. This would include sausages, hams, and so on. It's always better to give preference to a natural piece of meat that we cook ourselves instead of eating sausage. Sure, sausage is tasty, but fries are tasty too. And sweet soda is as well. And if we think about the consequences, the long-term effects, then that's where everyone makes their own choices. What is the problem with processed meat? First of all, it is again the content of trans fats. And then there is the obvious temptation for producers to fill this up with cheap raw materials. This includes imitating more expensive animal fats with cheaper hydrogenated trans fats. Another problem with processed meats is the excessive salt content, which I've talked about once before on my channel. And excessive salt intake can provoke high blood pressure. And high blood pressure brings with it a whole bunch of problems. Because if you have high blood pressure, cholesterol plaques will be formed more actively and the risk of thrombosis also goes up. In general, a vicious cycle develops. And another problem with processed meat is that it has increased levels of nitrosamines and they, in turn, are carcinogenic. And it's been proven that eating too much processed meats increases the risk of colon cancer. If we summarize all of the above, the following conclusions can be drawn. Our life expectancy and our quality of life are directly related to the health of our blood vessels. After the age of 50, it is extremely important to monitor their condition. And the most harmful foods that are destructive to our blood vessels are trans fats, high doses of sugar, and excessive salt intake. Knowing these facts, you will be able to look at the label and analyze the composition of the product, understanding what it all means. By the way, write in the comments which of these foods you eat, or maybe you've completely given up on some of them. Share your experiences and thoughts in the comments. It would be very interesting. And now, I highly recommend that you watch my other video. There, I talk about those foods that clean our blood vessels after 50 years of age. So it's a recommendation of what to include in our diet. It's a very helpful video that will give you a whole picture of understanding. The link to the video just appeared on the screen, and I also left a link in the description, and I've pinned it in the top comment. Be sure to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you at the video about healthy foods for our blood vessels.